I'm Simon Crompton, founder of PermanentStyle.com. Packing effectively is a particular problem for anyone that's into tailoring. Not only do you want to carry as many lovely clothes as possible in your suitcase, but you also have to avoid creases in your shirts, trousers or jackets. Fortunately, that's relatively easy to do just by avoiding hard creases. Today, we're going to show how to do that, packing a Tusting suitcase for a short trip away for a night or two. I lay out everything for my trip before packing, really just to make sure I haven't forgotten a thing more than anything else. I also have a list on my phone that I keep where I have all the essentials of things just to make sure. So, for example, charges are something I'm particularly good at forgetting and I make sure I've always got those. If you're packing a pair of shoes, so usually if you're going for more than one night, I always put a travel shoe tree inside. And these are usually very lightweight, made of plastic or something similar. And they just avoid the shoe getting crushed inside the suitcase, particularly on the front of the shoe here. If you don't have travel shoe trees, you can also just use socks or underwear to stuffing those inside the toe of the shoe and filling up the inside. Once the shoe has got the travel shoe tree in it, I then put it inside a shoe bag, again to protect it from any scrapes or anything else inside the suitcase. And this is a tiny point, but I quite like turning the shoe bags inside out, just because the seam on the inside of the shoe bag is actually the thing that has most chance of scratching the patina on the shoe, rather than the cloth itself. So they get packed into the side of the suitcase. Usually it's a good idea with anything heavy or bulky to pack it around the sides, so it's less likely to move around inside the case. And the next thing I take is the jacket. And for this, the key is to turn the jacket inside out. So you start with one shoulder, turn that shoulder inside out, then put your hand in the facing shoulder and push it through that one you turn inside out. Then if you line up the collars and lapels, you can fold the jacket quite neatly in half. You then lay the jacket inside the suitcase. Now this is the point about avoiding hard creases. If you fold the jacket just on itself, you'd quite often get a hard crease where the jacket is folded. But we're going to fold the jacket and other things around things in the middle of the suitcase and so avoid those creases. The other reason for folding the jacket inside out, of course, is so that the lining is exposed and on the outside. So if there are any nicks on the inside or any spillages inside the case, it's the lining that's going to get damaged, which is cheap and can be quite easily replaced, rather than the precious outside of the jacket. The next thing we take is the trousers. Again, we're trying to avoid a hard crease with the trousers. So we do the same thing, placing them inside the suitcase, only half inside and half outside on the opposite side to the jacket. Then in the middle of the case, we fill it with shirts and knitwear and other things that these two pieces can be wrapped around. So first of all, a couple of shirts, folded fairly simply, just in thirds as they would be in a shop. And these are placed inside. Some people keep the plastic or cardboard uh, support for the collar and put that inside the shirt as well when they're packing to avoid it being collapsing when things go on top of it. But to be honest, I've never found that to be a problem, so I don't do it. Shirts are in. Then some knitwear, again, folded very simply. To be honest, there's three things I always take when I'm traveling, just on the absolute safe side. One of them is a navy crew neck, one of them is a scarf like this, and one of them is a handkerchief. And no matter what I'm doing or where I'm going, I always take those three things because it means you can adapt anything you're wearing to different temperatures by putting on the, the sweater or the scarf or taking them off. And the handkerchief means you can dress anything up or down much more easily. So the scarf goes in the middle too. Then we have a tie to put in. Actually, a navy tie is one more thing I would always take with me. Again, like a handkerchief, it allows you to dress anything up or down. Some people roll ties or put them inside cases. To be honest, I've always found ties to be absolutely fine, just folded into quarters, as long as they're placed carefully inside the case. If it was very precious, I might put it inside just a paper sleeve like you would buy a tie in, possibly. 
So then you've just got the handkerchief folded flat, laid on top, and then underwear. If you haven't used that inside the shoes, then just tuck that around the edges. Often underwear and socks are a very good way to pan out the suitcase, to fill any holes, to try and stop things kind of moving around. And there's a few things, by the way, that I wouldn't take in a suitcase. So for example, a hat. I've tried lots of times to pack it inside a suitcase with support inside, with soft things around the outside, but I always find it loses its shape slightly. That's very frustrating when you get to the other end. So a hat I'd always carry in my hand or indeed on my head. And an umbrella, equally, I wouldn't carry a little short collapsible one. And a long umbrella, sometimes you can get ones where the handle and the end screw off and it can fit in a big suitcase, but pretty much all the time I would carry that in the hand. And then I'm going to have hand luggage where I'm going to have a computer, some chargers, maybe a camera, little things like that. And also usually the wash bag goes in there, particularly if I'm not taking luggage which is going to be checked in because it could be in a transparent bag and very easily accessible. So then, having packed the whole of the case, we pack everything else around it. So you can fold the trousers over the top, and then the jacket over the top of that. Once you've avoided those hard creases, you've got more of a rounded roll on either side of the jacket and the trousers, and everything's very nicely protected. And you're ready to go.